A bloody evening in London saw a stabbing attack in Brentford in which one man was killed and an elderly woman left fighting for her life and a double shooting in Ealing. On Friday evening at around 8 p.m., two people were stabbed in the West London suburb of Brentford. Police said that one man, believed to be in his 20s, was pronounced dead at the scene. A woman in her 80s was also stabbed during the attack and was taken to hospital where she remains in critical condition. A man in his 30s was arrested on Saturday morning on suspicion of murder and attempted murder and has been taken into police custody at a station in London, the Metropolitan Police revealed in an official statement. A spokesman for the police force told The Telegraph that, at this stage, there is nothing to suggest that the incident is linked to terrorism. The stabbings were followed by a double shooting in nearby Ealing in the early hours of Saturday morning. At around 5.30 a.m., officers were called to Standard Road where a 28-year-old man had suffered gunshot and stabbing wounds. The man was taken to hospital but it is not believed that his injuries are life-threatening. Another man, aged 31, was also shot in the hand during the attack. He has since been discharged from hospital. At the time of reporting, no arrests have been made in connection to the shooting and detectives from the Specialist Crime Command, Trident, are calling for witnesses to come forward with information. According to figures compiled by the Daily Mail, the latest stabbing fatality will represent the 111th murder probe launched by the Metropolitan Police Service this year. The grim statistic means that the British capital will have experienced over 100 homicides in a year, a milestone that has been surpassed during every year of the tenure of Sadiq Khan as Mayor of London. Khan, a Labour Party politician who was narrowly re-elected as Mayor earlier this year, has come under frequent criticism for his failures to tackle violent crime in the city. Last year, for example, there were 126 killings in London, 15 of whom were teenagers, despite the city facing lockdown restrictions for most of 2020. While the United Kingdom has some of the strictest gun laws in the Western world, shootings also rose last year, climbing by 8% to 288 incidents. Knife crime has particularly plagued London during Khan's term in office, with knife-related crimes rising by over 50% from the year before he came into office until the beginning of the Wuhan virus pandemic, increasing from 9,700 incidents in 2014-15 to 15,600 in 2019-20. Rather than fully focusing on the crime wave, however, Mr Khan has instead devoted much time and effort to leftist pet projects, such as the commissioning of a Red Guard-style panel to review supposedly offensive statues and monuments in the nation's capital.